Hi Sagittarius, Naraya here, gonna do a reading for you guys. If you are new, welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. My name is Naraya and I go by Nay. Excuse the lighting. I am doing a late night read and my lighting sucks today, tonight. I normally do my readings in the morning before work. So this is going to be a quick reading. Please know to take what fits and leave the rest as this is not personal. And we're going to see what spirit has for you. And let me move my chair over. There we go. Messages and guidance for Sagittarius. That is my north node. And Blue Rose Tarot is also a, a Sag. Ooh, look at that. The Lovers look, and the King of Swords. Let's see if those come up in the reading. Let me write that down. I always say I'm going to see if cards come out in a reading that I see at the beginning and then I forget. That happened today with, uh, I think it may have been, who was it? The Aries reading, the Three of Swords, and it actually came out in the reading. Oh, no, no, that was the Capricorn reading. No copies. All right, let's get started. Messages and guidance for Sagittarius, please and thank you. Any warnings, messages, or guidance for Sagittarius, please and thank you. I should have had a card come out by now. Spirit. I can't even. First card is the lovers. Sagittarius. Who? The lovers. This is you and someone else having mutual attraction. This is a, a connection that can be quite intense. Look at that energy between the two. This is you and somebody giving to one another, having an equal give and take. This is a partnership. I love it. Spirit. Am I going to pull the lovers? I'm feeling. I don't know why I thought the high priestess. Mm. the sun card the happiest card in the deck you know what's so great about these two cards they have matching colors I see this is a very successful relationship the sun card and the two of cups in this deck it's a very happy uh, successful relationship this is about happiness and success that warm, fuzzy feeling inside. I have the Three of Cups. This is reason to celebrate. This is you and your friends celebrating. This is so wonderful. Mm. Messages and guidance for Sagittarius, please and thank you. I have the Queen of Cups. It's funny because when I see this, I just see somebody that's like learning to go with the flow. Going with the flow in regards to feelings. Try not to control everything, um, but going with the flow being mature enough to have a conversation about your feelings, being able to say how you feel. But I also have the Knight of Swords. This is somebody that 
moves quickly and may not think before they speak. Why did that card come out? And see with the Queen of Cups, I'm thinking of somebody that actually thinks before she speaks. He or she, because this is just energy. It doesn't mean it has to be a woman. Messages. So I have the Hierophant, which can be a marriage card, having the same morals and values, um, same religious beliefs. I'm seeing somebody really comfortable with their faith here, really happy and comfortable with their faith. I have, or their beliefs, I'm going to say, their beliefs. But I have the Page of Cups here, and I feel like this is somebody that's kind of immature when it comes to their feelings. They may be a little scared of having emotions or discussing emotions. But then I also have the Strength card. This is somebody that has unconditional, this is about unconditional love. This is about having the courage. This is about being strong, having strength, and also being able to be gentle and compassionate and vulnerable all at the same time. This is the hanged man. This is about seeing things from a different perspective. This can also have to do with letting things go and taking a moment. And then I have the King of Wands. This is somebody courageous that takes action. Um, this is a person that's not afraid to express how they feel. And I feel like this person is a go-getter. Um, very brave. Very attractive. This could be a man or a woman in this energy. But I feel like this is a very, very passionate person. This could be the person that's coming towards you. with the Queen of Cups. And look at this. You see the skin tones? Yeah. Now this doesn't mean that it's gonna be a biracial couple. It could be an inter, or excuse me, interracial couple. It could be, it doesn't have to be, but I just thought it was really interesting. That I have both colors. And last card, last two, is the Five of Cups. There may be somebody dwelling um, as they're seeing you move along with your life, um, dwelling on the past. Or that's why this hanged man came in with a change of perspective and also why the Strength card came back, because there may have been something in the past that didn't work out for you that you're kind of still saddened about and it may have you being kind of protective in regards to your energy and holding your feelings close to your chest um, being a little stingy with yourself but I feel like there's no need to do that um, just take your time just take your time and um, communicate have very clear communication um, direct communication, pay attention to red flags, and I feel like if you do that, you're good to go, and um, your luck will change. Your luck changes based on how you view things. That That's another reason why the, the hanged man came, because you need a different perspective. It's like some of you don't see the good that's coming to you, because you're stuck on, I'm not going to say stuck dwelling on the past, but it's something about the past that still lingers, but you just need to release it, not be held hostage by it, and just, just move on. So that is what I have for you, Sagittarius. I think this is a pretty interesting read. 
So I thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I apologize about the lighting. I will have better lighting next time. But I thank you, and I love you guys. Have an amazing night, and um, until next time, love you. Bye.